Okay, uh, hi, good, good afternoon everyone. So, uh, welcome to the Premier Challenge, the Premier Challenge of Malaysia. So, uh, this is our third Premier Challenge, fourth Premier Challenge in Malaysia. So, uh, joining us today is me, Gary Young, and my partner. Okay, so uh, today right now we have our competitors, Akhli Putra versus Richard Lewis Hong. So, uh, a little background on both of these players. Uh, Akhlif is a well-known player. It's a very well-known top player, been top cutting in man, many seasons in the past. And Louis Fong. Louis Fong, I cannot say much about Louis Fong because I think he's a new player that comes to the PC today. It's the first time I see him. So yeah, I believe it's quite impressive for a first time player to get yeah. into the top card. Okay. Okay, so uh Arcliffe currently he is running a team. Just a, a preview of the team. Uh, Katana, Golduck, Pelipper, Arcanine, Gosbo, and Tapukoko. So uh, basically it's uh, your combination of a double duck with your with a similar core of Katana and Tapukoko. Whereas for Louis Fong. Yeah, Louis Fong if you can see the string without where <coughs> the cap is Louis Fong. He's working the team of AFK that is Arcanine, Tapukini, Katana. With the addition of Madibas, Rashiom and Snorlax. Uh, Problem with the oh, so, uh, excuse us. I think there's a little problem with our screen, but yeah, I think uh, from this very turn one, Akif has already captured a, a, a few information such as his Pelipper is actually faster than Sapukini, so he's actually at out speed and And 
as a thunder well which brings it all the way down to all the way down despite last one special defense too. so i think that's quite uh, i guess we're underestimating coco strength and gacha man for poison jab so i guess that's that's all for coco it, it doesn't stay too long and thank goodness the Pilipers still have reset intake because of the muddy water mist. And uh, I think at least Arcliffe still get, can get a free sweep in. Oh, oh and it's a Buzzwool. Interesting. Uh, Buzzwool isn't really a very common Pokemon to use in Showdown, but it's a still a good check because of the sniping. Like, it actually counters Porygon, Porygon 2. So, but against Affini and Garchomp, uh, what do you think of it? Okay. I think Buzzwool might carry the Assault test. It bravely stand there in front of the WDB. Yeah, interesting. Yeah, I think Assault Vest also is it's, it's a common item because of its but, close but defense. At, at, at the Kapukini SP range now, the Vasco can easily position that to KO the Vasco. Yes, and I'm not sure, and we are not even sure whether. Oh, a Mandibus switch in oh. and it has a Misty C, so he reaches its special defense. And uh, okay, he's made a smart he made a smart protect, predicting a poison jab, but I'm not sure oh, whether. Uh, yeah. Yes, we will really catch a potential burn because Misty Terrain doesn't protect Mandibus and uh, well, Fini Protector so it's safe for one turn and it's stalling to get a leftover recovery. I think yes. Luis will yeah. go for Tailwind also. Yes, I think he needs to match Tailwind if he needs to. Yeah, he need, if he needs to have momentum on his favor. And uh, I think Kapu Fini can still stand in the field for another turn or two longer. I, I think uh, Kapu Fini can stay at the attack or stay for a better Yes, I think it, it really depends because uh, Mandibus offensively doesn't threaten Pelipper or Buzzle, I think. So there's a very good chance that Mandibus will switch up. And Fini can still land a Moon Blast yeah. on Buzzle. Yeah. Oh, Katana. Mm, if it's pretty, if it poison jab, it's good. Oh, well, it got Scout in. Oh, and it, is it hit on the Katana spot? Whoa, that's a very bad switch in. I mean, too much best, damage. Best on the damage I think the Katana is. Uh, not sure. Oh, I think that it is most likely a Sash variant because the damage is too much even if it's a Sash variant. And uh, what, if, what did the Buzzword did? Did he went for a Poison Jab on the new Katana? Uh, so I, 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 don't, I don't recall seeing any uh, animation on the Buzzword. I think so. Yeah. Because I didn't see any. Yeah. And uh, yep, yeah, uh, Tailwind is really up. And well... Okay, Katana doesn't really... Threaten. Yeah, it doesn't threaten both because the uh, Buzzword is still can take its attack and, and the Nippon is most likely to be sent here. Yes, uh, uh, thank you. good thing is Sash is still intact and Buzzle can still like retaliate with like a lunge or a new turn or super power on Manibus. One thing Manibus can do right here is just open it by Yeah, so you see a smart strike, so it only does about like 30% 30, 30 and you see a power play, but no, it's not gonna do much because it's resistant to fighting. Oh, so he matches up back Tailwind, so I think Tailwind will either out, so I've lost track of it. Oh, and Leech Life. Leech Life Good. to the Katana. Yeah, so he actually heals back his HP and takes out the knock, knock it knocked out. So now it actually gives Buzzle a free type boost, presumably. Yeah, Leech Life doesn't really yes. right yeah, uh, yeah, so he yeah, already lost two of them. He already lost uh, Katana, which is a <laughs> good. He already lost Katana, which is one of his answers against. Double Dark and uh, and Rain has already over, so Arcliffe's, I mean the main, I won't say the match is entirely in Arcliffe's favor, but uh, Taku Pini comes in and uh, I don't think at this rate, Taku Pini is going to threaten the plus one buzz, buzz wall. The thing is, uh, Louis Kwong, but uh, fire power is only Taku Pini dead. Taku Pini's damage alpha is not that much also. Yeah, I mean at this rate, Mandibus isn't doing much damage because uh, Buzzword is just a power play while Pelipper doesn't have the great best attack stats ever. So, Fini goes for protect, well, it's a little bit anticipated. And uh, yeah, a scout, uh, I don't know why he does that, but regardless, it's not going to do a lot anyway. Both Buzzword and uh, Pelipper. I think Fini is going to go for super power, wow. But can he KO Mandibus? Oh my goodness, he does. He does get a boost. Yeah, yeah, so basically it brings it back all the way back to plus one. So I think well Buzzwolf is now, good. Now Buzzwolf is plus two. That's not right, uh, plus one. Wait. Uh, but, but there's a super but there's a super power oh, yeah, so yeah. it brings it it also brings it back to plus one again. Okay, so plus one. Yeah. 
minus one item. So I would say that the momentum actually sort of uh, goes into Akri's favor, and then Gachao can really touch the buzzword if he only has some quick and uh, uh, did the tailwind end. Yeah, yeah, tailwind. I think the tailwind has already ended. Okay, but the tailwind doesn't end. Uh, Jennifer can just set up another tailwind and yes. No, uh, the Akri's tailwind hasn't petered out, but I'm not really sure about Akri's. I mean, uh, Louis. Tailwind, uh, well, Raja goes for protect. It's, uh, yeah, actually, he, sh he should just go full offense at this point. And Pelipper goes for scout. Well, I think Gachom is going to go down and guard us. And I'm not sure whether can the Buzzbow take the Moon Blast, which I don't think so. Buzzbow yep. isn't really taking that. Isn't really taking that. Moon Blast very well. Uh, and uh, he does have a chance to get But ultimately, it also depends like what Pokemon, what is the last Pokemon at the back. And if the blast Pokemon, map, oh, it's a Katana, wow, okay. Good, I think, uh, I think Akri could be, could be taking this game one because uh, Katana has a good matchup against the weekend Gachomp and as well as Katini. So, uh, it'll be very interesting what, uh, what can Lewis do in the next game. And, uh, yeah, I don't think, I, do you think there's any chance for Lewis to pull this over the win? Lewis can win uh, if Akri made a uh, mistake on his game. Yeah, so I think uh, we most likely see a leaf blade onto the Gachon, most likely. I mean, it's already protected just now. And, well, it, yeah, it, 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 it will take out the Rachel. And it, get up the Beast Boots. Yep, so there's a Beast Boots on the Gachon, and uh, I think this is the Mike Seals of the game, and actually taking game one. Well, okay. So, and I think at this point, perhaps Luis might want to consider to get any information he can, like maybe to scout out. Pokemon's bow, Pokemon's Pokemon's bow. Tailwind's already out. Tailwind may have feeder out, but I think it doesn't matter at this point because Pokemon just must be tokens. Game for Athlete. Yeah, so ladies and gentlemen, I think we'll. we'll yeah, okay. So we'll see, we'll go into game 2. Yep, and uh, good game. a very good game for both players. I think uh, two for a first time BGC player. Louis actually held quite well against. Uh, Arcliff, since Arcliff is a long known veteran for, in the BGC scene. I think Luis yeah. needs to spe step up his game, yes. needs to uh, predict or lead the correct leads and yes. outplay Arcliff yeah, if, he... we want to, if we want to get the game. Yes, uh, I was a little surprised that I didn't see the Snorlax because I think Snorlax is uh, relatively a good counter against uh, Double Duck. But uh, maybe probably because of the check of the buzzword that he doesn't Probably because of the threat of Buzzbow that he didn't bring Snorlax out. Because there's yes. not there's not the thing you you can't bring Arcanine either because it's double down in the range, so Arcanine isn't doing much. So uh, relying on Mandibus for tailwind is uh, not a bad idea, but he needs to play around. And it also ultimately depends on what Arcliff beats. I think uh, the money bus there is just for tailwind support. Mm. It doesn't really much do much uh other than that, yeah. he just stays there and he doesn't really attract his attention to the Mandibus. Yeah. The opponent can just ignore the Mandibus. Ignore, ignore the Mandibus yeah. and later can. Yeah. If, 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 we mess, if we see on the team preview, actually we have noticed that Mandibus power play can only do can only do damage on Katana and Arcanine. Yes. And I think the rest, I think the other Pokemon, they either have a very weak attack stats or they have basically resist power play. So. Yeah, I think the player has made their decision. Yeah, the first decision. So it'll be interesting to see what both players lead in this time, because every time any lead actually can change a person's momentum. So okay, yeah, it'll be interesting to see what's coming up. So Garchomp and Arc. Uh, Arcliff leads to Golda and Pelipper. Whoa! Yeah. So infamous double duck, although uh, Pelipper is actually like a pelican, it's not really a duck. Not like it matters for both yeah, ducks. Yeah. But. Both mm, Yes, and uh, at this point, I think uh, Arcliff has, uh, has all the momentum. Though if Golda has SB, it literally threatens the guard charm. Pelipper can just fire a spell. Golda now can choose like, to kill Gacham with SB or just. I think just Hydro Pump just would be enough for the Arcanine. Yeah, I think Scout is more than enough because Hydro Pump is quite well known for its tricky accuracy. And yeah, I think. Uh, and Philippe right now, if he wants to be more safe, 
can just set up a tier wing. Yes, if you set up tier wing, if you put putting a switch, I think we can take it. It's entirely safe, but there's not much of reason to. So it goes to Ice Beam. Why a both play for Luis? A very both play. A very both play. Yeah, Gachom just went down. He literally outspeed everything. And uh, wow. Oh, the Arcana also stays. Yeah, I think that. I believe that Snow can go a long way. And I can I potentially survive, and he did. So I think if the, the snarl didn't hit on the teleport, he probably could have knocked out at that range. Yeah, we see that there are no berries mm. for Arcanine. Yeah, there's, there's no berry on Arcanine, so it could be carrying safety goggles. Yeah, because for the Lilligan to also make up. Yeah, I think because I like, Lilligan talked about it. Right, now we see yeah. Tapopini. So Tapopini is also a uh, neutral matchup against Double Duck, but like still weak to Tapopini yeah. won't do much, I guess, with Philippo and Yes, it can fight one on one, but not two against one. I yeah. think if if uh, at least a saving is cut on at the back, Tapopini doesn't really yes. do it. If he want to win this game, he needs to conserve his Arcanine. Yes. Or, for facing Katana later. Yeah, so basically, uh, oh, so the first features out. Well, I mean, and Katana yeah, comes in, but. Yeah. And I think he can just save his scout onto the Katana. Scout onto the Arcanine. And we see a Z move. Oh, by Hakulif. Uh, who is he targeting? I think. I, I think have... it will be always if he targeted the Tapu Finio. Yeah, probably the Tapu Finio, or it could be Arcanine. It's protected. Arcanine. The Arcanine to protect. If the Arcanine protect, it will also get the KO. It should get the KO despite. Oh, it does. Yeah, I, I think uh, like I think you're predicting like maybe if it's switched out, yeah. they get punished. But I think it's still KO at that range and yeah. So okay, let's see. So what would Finny do? He got a blast. Blast into the gold out. out. So Katana basically got gets a free switch in and uh, oh, a special defense draw. Wow. So I think a poor I little gold is is its special attack has been. At minus two right uh, now. Right now we see the uh, okay. Uh, well, it's not. Oh, it's. Oh, uh, it's it's really a mandibus and Pini at late game, but I don't know because because with, depending on Katana can still threaten Pini and mandibus doesn't really can't really do much offensively aside on Katana. So perhaps Arcliff will have to consider. I think, switching. I think yeah. can handle mandibus later. Yeah. Perhaps you just need. He may need to prioritize taking down the Pini because uh, Vandivas alone isn't doing much in the game. And yeah, we have, both players are taking their time to think. I think Arcliff is spending his taking his sweet time to think. And Arcliff has, has still four months on his side and Luis has yeah. so, so could this doesn't be, really yeah. look good for Luis side. Oh and if Apu Coco switches in and remove the misty terrain and he gives up. Yeah. I think uh, this could be a. Wow, so I think he was predicting the Fini to protect. But if he gets a Moon Blast, if he does. Into Katana. Into the Katana. Wow, so, I, so if Mandibus gets a double target on the Katana, it could be game over. But not at all. And oh, he decided on the Tailwind. Well, but. Oh, a late game Tailwind. It's a late game Tailwind, but then again, it's not like Fini can really do much in front of a Fini and a. In front of a Fini. Fini is still get threatened by. Both super effective for uh, Katan, D Blade and Thunderbolt in the electric terrain. Yeah, uh game's not over yet by any means, but I will see that the momentum actually still at Akli's favor despite the opponent has a stay with him. If Louis is fortunate it is that will is be going for Muddy Water and the uh, Tabu Coco gets uh, accuracy drop and Thunderbolt miss I think. He still yeah. got a slight chance to take so with him. Basically like, if Louis wants to really pull this yes. off, he really needs all the RNG, RNG yes. He needs all the RNG luck on his side. I think the Madibas for play will take out the Katana at this range. Yeah, but yeah, he'll take out at this range and Arcus will only go all in. He's not gonna bother. And yeah, I'll be curious to see what Arcus. He's gonna Thunder anyway. He just reviewed Thunder. Whoa, Madibas oh, went Madibas for is route. faster right now. Because of Tailwind. Because and, and if actually if he targets, if you use Thunder on Madibas, he actually come. He actually it's not. It's not gonna double down the damage because. It's, no longer flying tight for the turn. And ah, he hit the Pini. Smart play for Akli. A very smart play. Uh, Pini because yeah. Madibas doesn't really do much other yeah. than lose the win and foul play. Yeah, there's nothing much they can do. And uh, yeah, I think it's a targeting on the Pini is a safe play because yes. Mandibas can't do much offensively either. But and I, yeah, I think, I think the better play for Luis is just to protect his Tapu Pini first and just knock out the Katana. Yeah, so basically uh, yeah, Akli getting, uh, getting a 2-0. And uh, you'll be proceeding to the semi-finals of the 
Premier Challenge in Malaysia. And yeah, uh, well, I think just both players just want to stay in a little longer. Not not that it matters much. He goes for protect. No, I think he, he can just go all in anyway. Okay. Yeah. That's oh, Manibus went for a taunt. Interesting. Well, okay, we see pretty good. Oh, he tried to tailwind. So, oh, well, while well, Pelipper has taunted, he can still be offensive. He can still attack with Skull, Hurricane, and whatnot. But yeah, it really depends. And uh, yeah, it's, I think apologize that something's wrong with the screen here. Okay. Yep, uh, a little technical issues. But I believe that like for both, but we already, with the match has already been decided. Akli take, taking over the win in the semi finals and proceed to the semi finals. I think so, because Lewis is a new player, it's lack yeah. of experience. Yeah, yeah. Akli got. Yeah. Oh, oh, okay. The screen is bad. I think could be the Pelipper just switch out or something. Yeah, I believe so. But yeah, I think basically there's nothing much um, Lewis can do. So yeah, a, a, a congratulations to Arcliffe for presenting the semi-finals and also a uh, huge applause to Lewis despite being, despite his first time in VGC, he can still uh, pull up, pull up a good, very good show for all of us to see. He managed to compete against 21 players and managed to top card in his first yes, uh, try on Premier yes. Challenge. First time VGC and first time top card is actually no easy feat. And yeah, so we will see. And yeah, basically that's that. So uh. How do you think? Do you think actually if Lewis can play better, do you think that he can actually fight against uh, Akhlif's team? Yes, I think Lewis can play with Lewis' team if, if he made the correct surges on his split. Mm. I think Snorlax can be a good Pokemon to bring in yeah. with, I guess, against well, Akhlif's team. Well, actually, if, if, it's, if it leaves Snorlax and couple Pini, correct? If, probably it's, if it's not really threatened by the buzzword because of Pini's potential yes. moon blast. It, it just yes. needs to protect Snorlax from from yeah. the buzzword, and right? well, he yes. got Fini to cover yes. itself. Uh, yes, although Arcanine can really handle handle the double deck matchup, but I think Fini is still a good call if he actually leaves Fini and Snorlax. Yes. And it, it might improve his matchup a little bit because Snorlax is a well-known bow. So yeah, I think uh, that's all for our, our quarterfinals in the Premier Challenge. So, okay. So we'll, we'll see you again later on for our, our next for our next for uh, semi-finals. Semi Alright. So, <laughs> I need to talk. This week, everything yes. is okay.